Everything I said is coming down the chimney. Ready? I'm a very a family. Now I can fly. Move your dog. Move your dog. Check, check. Now that's football. You get it? You get it? You like it? I think the Sentinels just set a record for penalties in the first three. Brady, check. He's been under a lot of pressure. Pump fake. Breeze is it out. It's got Cook. Big play by the Saints as Jared Cook got behind the defense. The Jersey Jedis defeated the Memphis Mafia by a score of 41-27. Shannon Harrison is the head coach of the Jersey Jedis, and Jay Villing is the head coach of the Memphis Mafia. The Jersey Jedis used the force to win a huge game. Drew Brees was the master today and player of the game, completing 73% of his passes for 304 yards with three TDs and two interceptions. Wide receiver Stephon Diggs broke out this week with six receptions, 159 yards, and two TDs. Halfback Ezekiel Elliott contributed with 22 rushing attempts for 146 yards. The Mafia's run game was amazing when they got the chance to run. 20 rushing attempts for 203 yards and 1 TD. Carmera, Dobbins, and Edwards all had carries of 30 yards and more. However, Patrick Mahomes had an epic meltdown, completing only 38% of his passes for 193 yards, 2 TDs, and unfortunately, three interceptions. Despite that, A.J. Brown had another solid game. Five receptions for 119 yards, one TD, and one two-point conversion. The Jersey Jedis are now 7-2. They've scored 294 points and allowed 198. The Memphis Mafia is now 6-2. They have scored 257 points and allowed 192. Salvin Kamara across midfield, still on his feet. Kamara's got a bunch of room and some blockers. It's on the 15. What a run by Kamara, who's all the way in for a touchdown. Wow. Their own 16-yard line. Trying to get back into the game. And a good pass over the middle, and that's Paul Dillon. The Key West Divers defeat the Greenwich Spartans by a score of 28-21. Randy Waldenberg is the head coach of the Key West Divers, and Scott Smith is the head coach of the Greenwich Spartans. The Divers quarterback, Deshaun Watson, is the player of the game, not because of his huge numbers, but for his timing. Trailing the entire game, Watson and Cook orchestrated a fourth quarter comeback to tie and then to win the game with a minute and seven left to play. Watson completed 70% of his passes for 241 yards, one TD, and one interception. Cook had a modest day with 16 rushing attempts for 116 yards and 1 TD. The Spartans were having a nice game until late in the third and fourth quarter. The Spartans were up 21-7 with 8.42 left in the third. Bridgewater had completed 71% of his passes for 230 yards and 1 TD. Montgomery had 15 rushing attempts for 81 yards. The Spartans' defense gave up scoring drives of 75 yards, 54 yards, and the icing on top, a 9-play, 97-yard drive to lead them to their third loss. The Key West Divers are now 6-3. They've scored 226 points and a lot of 173. The Greenwich Spartans are also 6-3. They have scored 190 points and allowed 146. Yes, they can. Watson on the dump off to Cooks, who turns it. And he's in there right now on 37, helping to protect Watson. Under a rush, he hits Randall Cobb for the touchdown. Catch and run. Watson meetings. Wilson will dump it off for Carson here. With blockers in front, Chris Carson, touchdown number two. The Sacramento Gunslingers defeated the Wisconsin Stooges by a score of 17-10. Randy Leeper is the head coach of the Sacramento Gunslingers, and Bob Schultz is the head coach of the Wisconsin Stooges. The Gunslingers player of the game is quarterback Russell Wilson. He completed 88% of his passes for 235 yards, two TDs, and one interception. 
Wilson was on fire again this game, which is fortunate as the running game let the team down. 20 rushing attempts for only 48 yards. Wilson, so far this season, has completed 68% of his passes for 1,821 yards, 15 TDs with 9 interceptions. The Gunslinger's offense is fine, but the defense is the weak spot. The Stooges do what halfback put up some nice numbers. Edwards Hilaire, 15 rushing attempts for 66 yards. Kareem Hunt, 13 rushing attempts for 99 yards and 1 TD. Quarterback Derek Carr was below average this game and could not push the ball up, up the field. Carr completed 64% of his passes for 146 yards, no TDs, no interceptions. Bob Schultz called a good game that the team could just not get the big play. The Sacramento Gunslingers are now 5-4. They've scored 208 points and allowed 186. The Wisconsin Stooges are also 5-4. They've scored 156 points and allowed 161. This game, Al. This game is all about this. Here they are again. They took Gilmore out for one play. Back in. Wilson goes the other way. Deep downfield. And it will be. Looks like textbook now, Rich. Back to Derrick Henry. And Harry. Henry pulls his way across the 30. The Toronto Titans defeat the Washington Deadskins by a score of 23-22. to Rudy Gobbin is the head coach of the Toronto Titans, and Andrew Yatso is the head coach of the Washington Deadskins. The Titans. Once again, the awesome Derrick Henry put the team on his back, rumbling for 191 yards on 29 rushing attempts with two TDs, making him the player of the game. Phillip Rivers' below-average play almost cost the Titans the game. Rivers completed 52% of his passes for only 153 yards with one interception. The Deadskins did not play bad this game. Halfback Aaron Jones had 11 rushing attempts for 67 yards, 10 receptions for 99 yards. Quarterback Josh Allen was not bad this game, but he was also not great. Allen completed 58% of his passes for 282 yards, 1 TD, and 1 interception. Allen's card to me looks like a play-action quarterback. Run the ball and throw flat. His short pass right is average, but his short pass wrong is nice. Looks to me like the Deadskins are falling behind and having to go deep too much, hurting Allen's performance. Just my two cents. The Toronto Titans are now 4-5. and five. They scored 223 points, but allowed 239. The Washington Deadskins are 1-7. They have scored 154 points, but allowed 279. Terrific straight line speed. He rips off a lot of these big ones. Tannehill to throw. Henry out of the backfield. Up the sideline. Henry! 40! 30! Inside the 30-yard line! Second and 10. Time running out in the first half. Rodgers is going deep for Valdez Scantling. And he's got it into the end zone. Touchdown, Packers. The Atlanta Blew It defeated the Florence Freedom by a score of 36 to 34. Chris Chambers is the head coach of the Atlanta Blew It, and Brandon Wright is the head coach of the Florence Freedom. The Blew It did not blow it today. They led this game from start to finish. Aaron double check Rodgers. Completed 64% of his passes for 294 yards with three TDs. Nick Chubb had 20 rushing attempts for 169 yards and one TD. Aaron Rodgers is the player of the game. He completed passes to nine different receivers today. The Freedom put up a valiant fight. The halfbacks rushed 26 times for 180 yards and two TDs. Joe Burrow did his best to keep up with Rodgers, but threw two interceptions along the way. Burrow completed 53% of his passes for 240 yards, two TDs, and two interceptions. Tight end George Kittle had eight receptions for 105 yards, and wide receiver Robbie Anderson had six receptions for 111 yards. The Atlanta Blue It is now 3-4. and four. They have scored 187, but allowed 271. The Florence Freedom is 3-6. and six. They have scored 244 points, but allowed 217. Getting it all the way home. Lazard inside the 10. Down to the 3. 
Sounds like a good left tackle to me. <laughs> you want to protect the U. <laughs> All three backs are in the game. Rodgers to throw down the sideline and is caught. Really tough to stop when they're in sync. On second and six, play action from Tannehill completes. Second catch for A.J. Brown gets close to the 30, tackled right around the 32-yard line. It will be another Tennessee first down. The Sheboygan Mashers defeated the Eau Claire Rockers by a score of 27 to 24. Mark Flasher is the head coach of the Sheboygan Mashers, and Steve Branvold is the head coach of the Eau Claire Rockers. The Mashers player of the game is Ryan Tannehill, who came in for the ineffective Dak Prescott at the half. Tannehill completed 59% of his passes for 158 yards with two touchdowns. The Mashers halfbacks, 22 rushing attempts for 83 yards. Let us not forget wide receiver Calvin Ridley, six receptions for 103 yards and one TD. The Rockers run game is what kept them in this game. 33 rushing attempts for 227 yards with two TDs. Kyler Murray was proficient, but could not push the ball up the field. Murray completed 60% of his passes for 109 yards with only a 4.4 yard average per pass attempt and one TD. The Sheboygan Mashers are now 3-6. and six. They have scored 193 points but allowed 236. The Eau Claire Rockers are now 2-7. and seven. They have scored 153 points but allowed 188. Tannehill, now they say touchdown. What a scramble by Tannehill. 17 yards as he sneaks it in. Sheever running back at the bottom part of your screen. And Brady to throw. And complete open is Evans. Defender fell down and Evans will get across the 45-yard line. A bucket here first down. Falcons on. The Chippewa Valley Badgers defeat the Portland Storm by a score of 23-17. to Larry Zorn is the head coach of the Chippewa Valley Badgers, and Windsor Cooper is the head coach of the Portland Storm. Another win for the Badgers. The terrific, the stupendous, the spectacular Tom Brady wins again. Completing 29 of his 43 pass attempts for 68%. For 262 yards, two TDs, and one interception. The Storm was up 10 to 7 at the half. Brady stepped up his game in the third quarter with two TD passes to halfback Kenyon Drake. Drake had four receptions for 50 yards this day with the two TDs, of course. The Storm was the victim of the Brady magic. Justin Herbert completed 73% of his passes for 228 yards with two TDs of his own. Halfback. Josh Jacobs, 18 rushing attempts for 113 yards. Jacobs also had six receptions for 64 yards. All good numbers. No interceptions, no loss fumbles. The only thing that could have contributed to this loss was the three failed fourth down conversions. The Chippewa Valley Badgers are now 5-4. and four. They've scored 157 points but allowed 185. The Portland Storm is now 4-5. They've scored 175 points, but allowed 183. All the way down inside the 30 of Atlanta. Ricardo Allen chased him down. Get to that Super Bowl? Yeah, yeah that Green Bay team. Yeah. Right up there at Lambeau. Antonio Brown. Shoved out of bounds, but gets the... This is where we hold them. This is where we fight. This is where they die. And the Shield Boys! Oh! Remember this day, man. And it will be yours for all time. Give them nothing, but take from them everything.